Welcome back to the Grandstream Video Guide series. In today's video, we will configure an IPsec VPN client with the Grandstream GWN router. This network diagram illustrates the configuration of a VPN connection to allow a remote user to have access to corporate network resources. A VPN tunnel will be created to secure the connection between the remote client and the GWN router and the corporate network. For this demonstration, we will configure GWN 7002 as the IPsec server with the Greenbow VPN client. Let's get started. Log into the web interface of your GWN router and go to VPN section. Select IPsec and head to client to site. Click on add to configure the GWN router as an IPsec VPN server. Assign a name and enable the server function by toggling the status option. Select the active WAN to use for VPN connection from the interface drop-down list. Include the pre-shared key to authenticate VPN connections from remote users to your GWN route. As a security best practice, we recommend that you use a complex pre-shared key. Define the security protocols to use for encryption, authentication, and key exchange. If you need to enforce the use of a particular security protocol, expand the drop-down list and select only the desired algorithm. For instance, you can uncheck Triple DES if you decide to prevent VPN connection from using it for encryption. After you set up the parameters for the IPsec VPN router, click on Save. Head to Remote Users to set up the parameters that will be used by remote clients to authenticate and connect to the VPN router. Assign a name and toggle the status option. We are setting up IPsec, so select this option for server type. Choose the IPsec server that we just created. For dial-in type, we will use Ike version 2, which has additional enhancements compared to version 1. This makes Ike version 2 faster and more secure. We will cover extended authentication in a future video. We use the IP address range to define the subnet and the range of IP addresses that will be used for the VPN connection. Make sure that the subnet you choose does not conflict with an existing subnet in your network. So, now, the router has been configured as an IPsec server and an account has been created for remote users. Next, open the VPN client installed on your computer. For this video guide, we will be using the Greenbow VPN client. You can visit the Greenbow website for more information regarding the installation and configuration. The Greenbow VPN client is already installed on this computer which is connected to a different router. So we will create a VPN tunnel to access the network resources behind the GWN router that we just configured for VPN. From the configuration panel of the VPN client, we will select IC version 2. Then. Open the tunnel creation wizard to enter the IP address of the GWN router and the pre-shared key that we set up on the VPN router. Click Next and then Finish. To apply the changes, right-click on IC version 2 and Save. To define the security parameters to use for the VPN tunnel, click on the Security Association. Under Authentication tab, you can change the pre-shared key and enforce the use of the security protocols for encryption authentication, and key exchange. In certain network environments, the remote router might not support IP fragmentation, so you might need to enable it at the VPN client. To do that, click on the egg tunnel and go to protocol tape. Check fragmentation under advanced features and set the fragment size to 1500 and save the change. To open the tunnel, click on Tools and Control Panel. We click on Open to launch the VPN connection. Once the VPN connection is successfully established, you will get this pop-up window. Using the command line, we can confirm that the computer has been assigned an IP address from the VPN subnet. We can also use the command line to test the VPN connection by pinging an IP address in the corporate subnet. This concludes today's video guide about setting up the GWN router as an IPsec server. Thank you for watching.